Hey guys, Ed here, and uh, today is my birthday. I don't know if I'll be uploading this video on my birthday, maybe the day after. But uh, I just wanted to make a little video showing off of a few things I got today at the uh, anime shop that I went to with my friend last week where I got the Miku figure. Well, the clothes I didn't, and the Transformers I didn't, but I'll, yeah. Uh, first up, I got a Portal 2 shirt from Hot Topic. It's a really nice shirt. It's got Shell. Uh, there's a Companion Cube. We got Wheatley, Gladys, Glados, whatever. Turrets, the Twins. Aperture Laboratories. I love that. Got that Hot Topic. Some Superman pajamas. Just because they looked comfy. And then over here... Ruffle Tech Toro. I honestly have no idea what series he's from, but he was cute and he was $20, so I couldn't resist it. <laughs> um, he looks like he'd be fun to pose with some Gundams or something, so there's him. This, I have no idea, again, what character it is, but it was on sale, so I bought it. it uh, some busty Ruffle Tech chick. Uh, she's got a cool sword. And I want a busty lady to pose with some of my Gundams, so... I thought, why the hell not? I really like, uh, Roveltex and stuff, and I figured, you know, this is one of the only things I had that was Roveltex, so I got this. And this is a, a new elf joint system. And I read somewhere in the box, it's right here. It's talking about the elf is... Uh... Oh, my ringtone. Pardon me for my ringtone. It's showing that, like, it's a feminine type of figure, I guess. And they're showing how they've redesigned it to be more feminine, I guess. Yeah, that was cool. This is what I'm really excited about. They let me go in the back, and I found this. It's an advanced of Zeta uh, Gashapon set. There's there's five in here. There were, uh, They sold a bunch of them. There's five left. And I uh, ignored this. This is from another set that I bought. Um, it came with five, and I only got one duplicate, which is pretty cool. The box art is just really nice for these. I got a bunch of these. I ended up getting all three of these. I got, I think I got, uh, where's the extra one I got? I got him. Where was it, him? I don't know. I got some duplicate. All I know is that I for sure got those two. But, yeah, I'll do a review on them. They're uh, really nice. They come with little stands, and they're uh, they're pretty articulate. Well, not really articulate, but they come with swapping parts. And the box art of this is just amazing with the hazel on the cover, and there's the little rabbits down there. But, yeah, uh, that was, uh, I, don't, I forget how much that was, but that was, uh, I bought all those. Um, I got a baggie of Gundam Gashapon, which this one is from. I just put one together. It's the Akatsuki. It needs a little work done to it, but... Seeing what I've done with some uh, of my Gashapon, for example, here's my uh, newest one. It's a 1 to 200 scale double O. I hand painted. So, I'll, uh... I'll be able to fix that, no problem. Just needs a little, uh... heat work done to the wings and the gun. And cannons but uh yeah um it was a set of let's see this was yeah this was 20 bucks it's a set that has the gundam releasing the core fighter the zeta these two guys kubele katsuki and the goof and i think that's it but i actually already have a few figures from the set I bought them when they were sold individually at the shop, when they had them out on display, but since they let me go into the back, they had these in a bot, like, all, the entire set in a bag, and I, I couldn't resist it, because I've been trying to complete this set for, like, four years, and I finally have it. Um, since I am 18, I bought myself a pack of Queen's Blade cards. Call me a pervert if you want, but I figured everybody's, like, in America, you're supposed to buy, you know, a pack of cigarettes, or, and throw them out, or, like, buy a porno magazine or something, because you're 18, I just decided, why not buy some Queen's Blade cards. Uh, the cashier said that they aren't really, like, 
uh, pornography, but they're suggestive, as you can see by <laughs> the boobs. <laughs> but yeah, I, I figured instead of buying a porno, I might as well buy them. It's kind of a joke between my friends. We've been joking around saying, oh, Ed, you're 18, you should buy some Queen's Blade cards. I got issue 12 of Hobby Japan. I wa really wanted this because I haven't painted my high grade gaffer yet. And it shows in here this guy that did a custom paint job on it to make it look purple. Like a reflective purple color, and I love that. And another reason why I got it is because it came with this poster of the Verka Hatsune Miku that I just bought the other day. So, I really wanted that. And on the other side, it's this cool thing, but I really wanted this poster to put somewhere. So I got that. And I always love these Hobby Japan magazines. And last but not least, I found these two guys at a little thrift store. These are Reveal the Shield Trail Cutter and Starscream. Uh, pretty rare figures, in my opinion, to find on the market these days. And they were really cheap. Cut down from 7 bucks to 3 bucks. So I got those. So yeah, that was my birthday spoil for my actual birthday. I'm still waiting for a Tatsu Hobby package, which will probably be here on the 27th. And again, I don't know when I'm uploading this video. I'll probably do a little birthday video beforehand, and I don't know. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, what do you want to see reviewed first? And that's about it, and I'll see you all in the next one.